How can we change an image? Let's use art. If you have a friend who comes in and you live in Liberty City, you're not like, oh, let me go show you Wynwood. It's like, you can, oh, let me go show you these, this art in my neighborhood. It's a lot about perception as well. And I think artwork and the power of imagery, you know, doing bright colors and, and, and people smiling and positive imagery can change the perception of a community. When I grew up, it really wasn't much art at all. All you really seen was tags, but to actually see like a mirror of somebody's face, you, you didn't have that in Liberty City. So I feel like in my time, it's like, wow, I'm growing up in a time and age where I can actually do art and I don't have to be looked at as in like a criminal for doing tags or something. It's actually worship, not um, demonized. I was really excited about the history of Liberty City Mural. I mean, this, this, this community has so much history. Um, it's been years in planning, and I can't think of another building, you know, so high. It's, it's uh, 10 stories high, and it's right on um, I-95. So it's just such a, a visible canvas and a, really a, a dream for an artist. People will see it every day. They'll be able to see the progress. It's going to take two months. Um, but they'll be able to see it step by step and, and, and I'll almost be a part of it. That's part of the beauty of creating um, you know, public art because it, it's step by step and the people that see it every day, there's this uh, symbiotic relationship between the artist and, and, and the public. And I'm doing the first mark on the mural. <laughs> I always do this little, it's like a, um, it's like a cross, but I do a little one here. A little kiss like that to God. Kiss to dad. Do another one. So I always start with that. There we go. First mark made, man. What? I'm trying to do this one for five years, man. On 100% of the buildings that Pinnacle have, we have artwork. And what it says to the communities is, we may be affordable housing, but we're taking this neighborhood up. We're taking it up a notch with art. And we're going to put it on the outside of our building so everybody in the neighborhood can see it. Furthermore, we're gonna paint our buildings bright, colorful, fun, cool, and with art and with murals. What we're saying to the neighborhood, we're going above and beyond. Now it's your turn. Before I really got into Liberty City, Liberty City was uh, 62nd Street. 62nd Street is like their main street, but that main street takes me to the, the thrift. <laughs> so as I'm going through the thrift, I would always think like, why is this area so void? They have these amazing bus bench structures and like, why are they not painted? You know, there's so much why, why, why? So as I'm racking my brain, I'm like, what if we built walls of some sort where you don't have to like put them into the ground. They could be freestanding. These are my uh, prototype mock-ups of uh, where I think the structures would look like. Um, they're all counterbalanced. And that too, the lifespan. We're going for, for it to be there for a year um, in the location. But you never know, you know, it could be Liberty City's first wall thing where these are the structures that represent Liberty City because they've been there before we were there and then instead of like oh they're now just trash and they end up in the garbage someone's like that used to be my house you know so even if they don't live in the neighborhood or the neighborhood starts to change it's still like here is the history because the art is expanding and it's, it's all over Miami so being able to merge them instead of one destroying the other one I think this project bridges all that together. I think overall I want the mural to be hopeful. I want people to see it and see bright colors and be happy. Uh, you know, at the, the top is going to be a, a dark-skinned black baby who's kind of looking out over I-95. He's going to be symbolic of the future. 
and something to make everybody smile as well. I mean, Liberty City's had economic problems. Um, there's been uh, lots of victims of, of gun violence. Again, um, painting images of people that were instrumental in some of the history of not only Liberty City, but um, of Miami and memorializing them so that they're up um, and never be forgotten. Liberty City is like the heart of Miami. And we know that a lot of minorities is from Liberty City and a lot of history came from Liberty City, you know, with the segregation and so much. And a lot of powerful people came out of Liberty City. So me being a part of this project means a lot because I want something that's gonna always signify what Liberty City, if we can put it in a picture instead of words, you know? And so when people go on I-95, they can always see it. So I think it's like an uplifting thing. Like, you know, we understand, we see and stuff like that. If the art could just actually be what it was intended for, a voice, I feel like maybe this time around it could actually help us heal. If you go down the streets, we grieving. I can't even always say what from at this point. So it's like maybe this time it can open up the door that we can start having some conversations about like what's really going on in our, our neighborhood.